On Thursday, we found out that the U.S. initial jobless claims rose 2.12 million in the last week, while continuing claims actually declined. Canada's current account deficit expanded by $1.8 billion in the first quarter, and negotiators said the U.K. is still a long way from agreeing on an EU trade deal. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kiana Danielle, the founder of the Invest Diva movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Friday, we'll be looking at the GDP numbers from Italy, Brazil, and Canada, as well as the PCE price index from the US. Today, I'm looking at the Aussie yen pair that has continued its medium term uptrend ever since it bottomed out on March 18th. While it's consolidated below the 61% Fibonacci retracement level of 0.653 in the beginning of May, it has now broken above it and is approaching the next key resistance level of 0.67. Given that the Aussie yen pair was in a long-term downtrend since 2018, right before this, there's a chance we could start seeing a, the bulls cooling down a little bit soon. And it's still too soon to tell whether the long-term trend has changed for the pair. Do you think the Aussie yen pair will finally see solid gains after years of being under pressure? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates next week.